now that I got my coffee, let's go take a seat and talk about this egg fast. So what is the egg fast? The egg fast is you can eat up to six eggs or more. For every egg that you eat, you get a serving of fat and you can have up to six ounces of cheese in a day. Um, so I've only did this for two days. I love eggs so much that I didn't want to get tired of it. And I felt like if I did it any longer, then I would never want to look at an egg again. Some of the positive things about an egg fast is if you're on a budget. So um, this was a very cheap way of eating. So I bought eggs, I got cheese, and I had butter and coconut oil. And that was it. So this could help with a plateau. So when you plateau, um, you've lost a certain amount of weight and then you get stuck. You get stuck at that weight for up to three weeks. Um, it will help you get past that hump. Um, also, if you had a cheat day and you got kicked out of ketosis and you want to get back into ketosis hardcore, this could definitely do it. Another great thing about this egg fast is if you um, are hungry, this definitely curves your appetite um, due to the high fat and moderate protein and very extremely low carb. Um, I wasn't hungry. Like I had to eat my eggs because I had to eat it, not because I was starving. So this really will help curb your appetite. So glycogen stores like to cling to water. So by doing the egg fast, um, you're really depleting your glycogen or any kind of stored glycogen. So you get an extreme loss of water. So some of the weight loss though, isn't just water. It is also fat loss, but a lot of it could be water loss. Another benefit of eggs is they're extremely high in a vitamin B that the liver uses to metabolize fat. And because we're fat burning machines, um, it's always good, even if you're not doing an egg fast, to make sure to get some kind of source of egg um, for your weight loss journey. Some of the cons of doing the egg fast is getting tired of eggs, hating them so much that you don't ever want to eat them again. Also, 54 grams of protein is not enough for most people um, to sustain their muscle mass. Um, and that is one of the main reasons why I only did the egg fast for two days. I work really hard to build my muscle. And the last thing I want to do is see that scale drop because I'm losing muscle. So, um, if this diet isn't recommended for everybody, um, this might not be, um, sufficient for your muscle mass. If you have tons of muscle mass and you get on the egg fast and you're not sustaining your body's protein that you need for your body, you're going to lose muscle. And that's not the purpose of why we're wanting to drop the scale. We want to lose the fat grams. Another issue too that I can see happening for someone is, you know, you get on the egg fast and it's really low calorie and you're eating just eggs, fat, and cheese. So if, once you get off of it, um, even if you're eating keto friendly foods, you're consuming a lot more calories than you were on the egg fast. So you could possibly gain all your weight back that you just lost on this egg fast. And not only that, you're sick and tired of eggs and now you drop that weight and then within a week you gain it all back. It almost seems pointless. So these are my recommendations. I'm not a dietitian. I am not um, a health coach or anything like that. These are just some things that I personally think um, that could work with the egg fast. So I'm trying egg fast once a week. So doing it for one day a week, um, it will really help you. I noticed like the first day I wanted to grab my pistachios. I wanted to grab um, some of the things that are in my fridge like um, beef jerky and my pork rinds. And I was like, whoa, I, 
I really have been munching on these a lot. And it just became a habit because I wanted to grab for them where the egg fast made me realize like, mm, after the egg fast, I gotta really monitor my snacking. So it does like make you mentally aware of what you might think you're doing right, but then realizing, oh, well, just because these are friendly foods, I shouldn't really be consuming them this often. So yesterday was my third day. So that was my third day. I wasn't on egg fast, but I did have an egg salad with a salad um, that I ate for lunch. And then for dinner, I had asparagus and a brat. And then for my breakfast, I did my bulletproof coffee, um, which I did bulletproof coffee on my egg fast too every morning. Um, so this morning when I got on the scale, I was at 171. So really I lost two pounds, but my final results were three pounds. But like I said, um, when, even if you're eating small, small amounts and you're not, um, eating as low calorie as on the egg fast, there is a potential weight gain. Um, now is that weight gain water weight? Absolutely. Um, I have a scale that measures your fat grams, your muscle, your water, and my water went up. So, which I don't mind. <laughs>